Hey YouTubers, this is Jasmine and I'm coming to you with a really quick video about the Carnival Victory. I'm just going to do a quick overview of everything on the ship and giving you some options. So I'm going to do the research for you. So if you decide to go on your own Carnival Victory cruise, you have all the information available for you. If you're interested in booking a trip, you can check the link down below in the description box. If you want to become a travel agent and work and have fun like I do, there is also a link down in the description box below. So stay tuned. So stay tuned. Okay, so we're at Carnival website, carnival.com, and we're going to do a quick overview of the ship. So this is the actual picture of the ship. This is what it looks like in person. And we're just going to go over a little bit of the history of it. Um, it's a older ship it cruises to the Bahamas and the Caribbean this ship departs from Miami Florida and the cruise length for this ship is usually between two to five days okay and the Colonel Victory ship it holds about 2064 guests it's 893 length and feet, 1100 onboard crew, and the gross tonnage is 101,509. So basically, it's a hotel on water. Okay, so inside the ship. Inside the ship, there are exactly 14 levels. So the Riviera level, that would be right here, deck one. That's at the very bottom of the ship. And deck 14 will be the very top of the ship. So when you're booking your cruise, you want to make sure that you know which deck you're going to be on. So on my last cruise, I was on deck number 4. So I was kind of close to everything. I was close to the fun, but I was on the deck of the ship. So I was on deck four. That's kind of like in the middle of the ship. Okay, that's not my deck. I think I was on the lower deck because mine have all rooms. Okay, yeah, I was on the lower deck. So this is more towards the bottom of the ship and I had an ocean view room. So I'm going to go over the state room shortly. So just keep in mind when you're booking, make sure you look where on the ship that you want to be on. If you want to be low or if you want to be high. The higher you go, the more expensive it will be. The lower you go, it's more affordable. Okay, so your stateroom options. They have interior rooms, ocean view rooms, balcony rooms, and suites. So the interior rooms, they have different categories. They have the interior picture window with a walkway view. And you see it's just a standard small room. It's good for singles or couples. They have the interior room with no windows. That's the inside of the ship. This is also good for singles or couples if they don't mind not having a, a window or a porthole. This one has two small portholes which allows for some sunlight, but it's still in the middle of the ship. But as you can see, it's just a standard room. It's good for couples or singles. They have an interior upper lower porthole. This would be good for families, like a single person and children. And this little couch right here is available for sleeping. It's big enough for people to sleep on. And the interior upper lower, this is good for kids. If you have a lot of kids with you and you need like a joining room, this is a good option for children. Okay, we have the ocean view category. Uh, we have the scenic ocean view, which lets in a lot of light with seating, as you can see. And this is good for couples or families. It's large enough to fit uh, at least 
up to four guests for this ocean view room. This is the standard ocean view room. This is the type of room that I booked. Um, it was spacious enough for two people. Um, it was two single beds that they pushed together to make a king bed. And they also had enough seating on the couch for somebody to sleep on. And it sleeps up to five guests, but I was comfortable with just me and my travel buddy. And they have the ocean view that has obstructed views. And what obstructed views means is there might be like a bar in front of your window or a lifeboat might be blocking your window. They are more affordable, but if you want a complete view of the ocean, I wouldn't suggest this obstructed view room. But it is affordable if you don't mind looking at a sailboat or a lifeboat or a walkway. And this sleeps up to two guests with connecting rooms. Then we have the balcony room. Uh, the balcony rooms have a lot of options. This is the premium, premium Vista balcony. And it's on the corner of the ship. So you see you have a lot of room with seating. And this is great for couples, families, friend trip. It sleeps up to three guests, but you can sleep a lot more if you really wanted to. The premium balcony is a larger room and it sleeps up to four guests and has seating for two outside and uh, two single beds that you can push together to make a king size bed and has large bathroom space and counter space with TV. The aft view room, this is more towards the front of the ship. It sleeps up to three guests and has a larger balcony. But the rooms are a little bit smaller, but if you don't mind that, this is good for like a couple or a couple and a one kid or three friends. And this is the standard balcony, which has the same amount of space and a smaller balcony. It says you can sleep up to five people, but I don't think that would be comfortable. I would say three people max in this type of room because it's a little bit smaller. Okay, and the suites. Uh, the captain's suite, of course, is the nicest suite. Sleeps up to five guests, has a balcony. It has a nice bedroom area. It has a couch. You see it's a little more upgraded. Well, on the pictures. It has a nice couch area, so that could sleep several people. And it has nice open lighting coming from the outside. And a huge deck. So you could have like gatherings or events up there. The captain suite sleeps up to five guests. So this could be great for a family, big family coming, doing a big get together. Okay, the grand suite is set up with the bedding area and the living room area. And this also has a, a nice size balcony. And it has a dressing room area and a bathroom area, which is great. If Santa sleeps up to five guests, I would say maybe three or four comfortably, three adults comfortably, or family. And the ocean suite, which is also nice. It's a little more spacious, has a dressing area, closet space. Has a balcony on the outside, seating for two. So these are all great options. This seats about four guests, comfortably, balcony, and it's one of the bigger rooms. And what's great about the Ocean Suite, they have great perks like priority check-in, guaranteed dining time, express boarding and debarkation, including an all destination. One complimentary laundry service, including pickup and delivery, which is good if you're going to go on a, like a longer cruise, like seven or more days if you need that. And two large complimentary bottles of water in the stateroom. Um, 
Okay, it's just bottles of water, but I guess that's a good perk also. Okay, so that's a little overview of the staterooms. Next, we have onboard activities. Now, my last video that I linked above, I said that there was something for everybody on this ship, and there it is. Um, if you're into bars, they have the Blue Iguana Tequila Bar. That's an additional cost for the drinks, but you know, it's a nice setup if you don't mind paying a little extra for the bar. Uh, the Serenity Adult Only Retreat. I use this for most of my trip because I didn't want to be bothered with kids, I'm just being honest. But it was a really nice area if you just want to chill and lay back. On a Carnival Victory, it's kind of a small area, but it, it was enough. Uh, the Punchliner Comedy Club, this is something that I also went to. They had two different comedians um, every night. So there was like an early show and a later show. I saw both comedians, they were very funny. And I think they were well known. I forgot their names though. They might not be that well known, but if you saw them, you would know them. The Red Frog Rum Bar. Uh, this is also additional cost. I didn't go to this because I'm not a huge drinker. But every bar that I went to or passed throughout the ship, they had music playing. They had like live bands playing. So, you know, if you're into the bar scene, that's a great option for you. Uh, now, I did not see a water slide on the ship I was on, but maybe other Carnival Victory ships have water slides. And it's included in the price, so if that's something you want to do for yourself or your, your family, that's a fun option. Camp Ocean is like a daycare for the kids. If you need somewhere for the kids to go and you just want to chill by yourself, you can drop them off at Camp Ocean. Seuss at Sea, that's also something for the little kids to do. Spa Carnival, I went to the spa uh, I think twice during my cruise. I love the spa, it is an additional cost, but when you book, there are usually if you book a little bit earlier, you get like cruise credit towards something on the ship. So I had a $50 cruise credit and I used that towards the Manny Petty at the spa, which was awesome. Stage shows, I didn't get to go to the stage shows, so I really can't talk a whole lot about that, but they are available. There is a huge theater on the ship, if you can believe it. And the Alchemy Bar. I saw this bar, but I'm not a big drinker, so if you're into the bar, go to the Alchemy Bar. Okay, onboard dining. The Bonsai Sushi Express is an additional cost, but this has sushi, seafood, you know, raw seafood, that's what you're into. They had green eggs and ham breakfast. This is breakfast like geared towards the kids. I didn't see this because I didn't have kids with me, but I'm assuming that there are people dressed up as characters walking around with the kids. Guys Burger Joint, I did go there, the burgers were good, and they were ready, fast service. Little Marketplace, this is the deck I was talking about where they have a huge cafeteria area. They do have a lot of different options, but I'm not a fan of buffet style food. But that is included in the price of your trip. Uh, C Day brunch, I didn't do that. The chef table, this is what I did for my birthday. It is an additional cost. It's like $75 per person on my particular cruise. The price might change on different ships. But I did do that. It was an experience. I highly recommend it. The Blue Iguana Cantina. I think this is a place where you can get like quick sandwiches, deli stuff. The Seafood Shack, which is an additional cost. This was the place that I went to where there was a long wait for seafood, like a half an hour to an hour wait. So if you're gonna go there, it's popular, be prepared to wait and pay extra. Okay, Pizza Pirate. This place serves pizza all day. So if you like pizza, Trial Pizza Pirate. All day, when I mean 
during at night too. That's like the only thing available after hours. Or room service. Room service is free if you order from the free side of the menu. And the dining room, they had different dining rooms for the sit down fancy dinners for like the dress up night. So that's a good option if that's what you want to do. Okay, so the Carnival Victory mainly goes to the Bahamas and some ports in the West Caribbean. As of the date of this video, in October 2019, there was a recent hurricane in the Bahamas. So not all of the ports are available. But as of October 2019, you can go to the Bahamas from Miami, Florida. And that's Nassau in Princess Cays. The same for this one, the Bahamas to Miami. Well, the Bahamas from Miami. And that's for Nassau, Princess Cays. And the West Caribbean. This one goes to Mexico, Cozumel, Mexico, and the Florida Keys, and comes back to Miami. And these prices, well, they are very low. These are the starting prices. So this 179 price would be for an inside room. And it kind of goes up if you want it like a balcony room, if you want a suite, the price goes up. So that's about it for the overview of the Carnival Victory. If you're interested in booking something like this, or if you want more information, check down in my description box below. You can book through my website, or if you want me to book it, just send me an email through my website. Or if you think this is fun and you want to do something like this for other people and you want to be a travel agent, click the link down below contact me and we can get together and discuss how you can become a travel agent yourself. Thank you for watching my video. Please like and subscribe. If this video helped you at all, share with someone else and have a great evening.